and hello gamers, and welcome to the uh, next episode of Chloe Cast. I need to do more of these shows. So, I can't keep to a schedule. I've been trying to keep to a schedule where I release Chloe and the Professor at least on a specific day. Um, I've been I've been aiming at doing the show on a Friday and gamers on a Friday as well, and I just can't keep to it. I'm also doing videos on Gamers Bay, and I'm having trouble keeping to schedules there as well. You know, I'm I'm a chunky monkey, and my health is not the best. You know, and you recently I've been not feeling too great. I've been sleeping a lot. And I've just been no motivation. I've just been vegetating most of the time. But I I do love making content. In fact, I just finished recording for the uh, next video in the series I'm doing over on Gamers Bay, where we're looking at arcade games, Atari arcade games from the 1980s. So I just did Space Duo. I did Pong before that, and I did Red Baron before that. And these are these are all vector graphics-based arcade games. The vector graphics games are different from your standard arcade games like Pac-Man or um, Pac-Man or Donkey Kong, in that they use vector graphics, and the display is very different for vector graphics games where a standard CRT draws on the screen a line at the time down the screen or, or a couple of lines at the time down the screen, a vector graphics display will only draw the line that it needs to draw in whatever direction it needs it to be to draw an object. It's sort of like the, it's, it's very similar, almost, it is essentially the same kind of screen that you would see on old oscilloscopes. That's essentially what it is. And on uh, old CAD systems. That's essentially what they are. And so you need those special displays. And that's why those arcade cabinets are starting to get harder to find. Why Star Wars Arcade is so ex so expensive. Because you need that special... You need that special graphic vector graphics display to play the game. Because you can't do that on a standard CRT. So that's why those are getting a little more expensive. But I just did uh, the video on, just did the th um, third video in that series today. And I'm not going to keep to any specific schedule for Chlorine the Professor. Uh, the only show that I'm really going to keep to a fixed schedule is an old game of rants. And that's every two weeks. That's a... A uh, show where I take uh, five interesting news stories from from uh, video game news stories from the past two weeks, and I boil it. I boil all the news stories down to five stories, the five most interesting ones, plus one that I do a special comment on, and so I release that once every two weeks, and I do that on a Sunday every Sunday every two weeks. So I did one this uh last sunday so we're not doing this one this this sunday tomorrow and but the sunday after that we're doing that so i've been compiling a list of interesting news stories been to make the news stories more interesting i've been compiling the list and i've been i've been putting urls to news stories and their titles in a document in my google drive account been storing them there that way I can go through and pick and choose which ones I want which ones are the most interesting what I think are the most ones that stand out the most and there's been a lot of really good news recently in gaming and we still got an entire week to go through before the show but here on this channel uh, I don't do as much content uh, from time to time Daniel comes on and he'll do uh, some stuff, and he is the owner of Gamers Bay, so he's he's been on here, and he's done a few videos here. I need to do more stuff on this channel. 
because the only stuff that I ever release on here is Chloe and the Professor that I've been doing recently. I've been doing more over there in Gamers Bay to help them out to get the channel going. But I need to do more here because, you know, this is my channel and we're partnered together in this. Try and, you know, turn this into a career. His channel's been around a lot longer, but they stopped producing a lot of content after the whole content ID thing got started. So it, it his, his channel sat dormant for a while and then he started producing content again. And then I became a moderator over at Gamers Bay and Google Plus. And I started doing content here. I started doing, I actually started doing Cloning the Professor on my private account. And he showed me how to set everything up so that I could be on AdSense and um, have a brand page in Google Plus and have a, uh, a branded uh, channel here in YouTube. So I went and did all that. Uh, as for a lot of the stuff that's going on with YouTube right now, with the whole... Uh, advertising debacle thing going on I am not leaving yet this channel hasn't even grown that big yet and so I'm not really making anything off this channel I mean pennies basically pennies I mean I couldn't even afford I cannot afford to eat at McDonald's for the amount of money that this channel is actually making right now Seriously, I cannot eat at McDonald's with the amount of money that this channel is actually making right now. Yeah, it's that bad. But, uh, essentially, if it became necessary, if it, um, push came to shove, if a lot of other channels started jumping ship, we may, this channel and Gamers Bay potentially could move. Right now, there are no plans to do so, but there are plans to um, at least set some stuff up over on vid.me, vid which is where some channels are going. Um, Did You Know Gaming is already there. And a lot of others have already created placeholder accounts. Captain Sparkles has made a placeholder account. Linus Tech Tips has made a placeholder account. So, so some of the bigger channels have actually created accounts there. They don't have videos up. They don't haven't set their channels up, but they've actually, you know, claimed their usernames over there. They've actually, you know, set something up over there. So that if they ever needed to leave YouTube, they could. There is an alternative. There is a place to go if it becomes necessary to jump ship because of all the crap that's going on here. And frankly, if Google needs to fix their shit, essentially. They need to, uh, they need to fix things. And they need to do it in a way that doesn't alienate content creators like myself and everyone else that's on here. They need to stop treating us the way they the way they are, because they they didn't become the big site that they are today because of cat videos. It wasn't just cat videos why they became so popular. They became popular because people started making content the, the way way we do the way gamers bay does the way linus tech tips does the way uh, boogie 2988 does all those channels and the content that they made smosh and pewdiepie people came here because of that it wasn't because of cat videos it wasn't because of people's home videos off their cell phones yes yes people come here to to watch that stuff but most people come here because they watch the content that people made. The professionally made content that people made. They come here for that. The majority of people that come to YouTube. 
they come here to watch these shows. IGN, Machinima, all those uh, channels, they come here for them. They come here, they come here to YouTube for them. And if we're not here, if all these content creators jump ship and move to vid.me or minds.com, if, if people like um, Sargon of Akkad and X22 Report and uh, all them and JSNP, uh, what's, I forget the name of this, it's a weird channel name. If they go over to minds.com and then you have Captain Sparkles and, and all them PewDiePie jump over to vid.me, what would that leave you to? What would that leave them? I mean, what if all the big content creators moved over there? And you can't say that their audience won't go won't go with them. You can't say that they're con that they will just stay on YouTube. Why? What's there to watch? Except people's home videos. And you're gonna get bored with that real quick. You're gonna want to watch the content that people make, so they'll go to where the content is. And video and YouTube will be screwed then if that happens. If people jump ship, if people leave YouTube, if all the content creators jump ship, leave YouTube, they're sunk. Why? Because all that ad revenue from all those channels is keeping YouTube afloat. And if they don't have those shows, those channels on there anymore, if they leave, all that ad revenue goes up in smoke and vid.me they don't have ads but they have a way where people can donate to the channels to help support them they have a system for that so they don't have advertising they have a different system for it so it's almost like a, almost like a patreon system or, or, or the way YouTube used to let you donate to a channel so they have that. Plus, also a lot of the bigger channels have sponsors, and the, and the sponsors are gonna stay with the content. They're not gonna care if it's on YouTube or not. They're gonna care that, oh, you left, your subscribers came with you, okay, we'll continue to support you. So just because they're on YouTube, and if they leave, doesn't mean that they'll fail. YouTube is not too big to fail. On If we learn anything, about the internet anything at all it is that no site no service is too big to fall we learned that with the internet bubble of the 90s that no one is too big to fail on the internet no one look at what is happening to yahoo 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 is falling apart they're they're being sold currently but the deal might fall through or they might get shut down they're being sold but a lot of a lot of their services are getting shut down and some of it's being kept but and their name is being changed to get what the name is it's a funky name Verizon's changing their name but they used to be a dynasty. They used to be where Google is now. They were the go-to company on the internet and look at where they are. They're gone. They're virtually gone. America Online, virtually gone. They used to be the go-to thing for online. They were the place to be if you wanted to get on the internet. Now, gone virtually who's using them the, f the few thousand people who don't have broadband internet compared to how many others so on the internet too big to fail doesn't ex does not exist period so can YouTube fail can YouTube fold yes it can
And if they do not do what's right, if they do not do what's right for content creators in this whole advertising crisis, if they just bow to the corporate money if they just bow to corporate money and they screw us over the content creators us content creators they screw us over to make peace with the advertisers they're screwed they are done end of story anyway i rambled on long enough uh, as I said, Cloying the, Professor, Cloying the Professor will continue. The, the, the next episode will be out soon. I'm, you know, still working on ideas. I want to take the show in a different, more positive direction. I don't want it to be as negative as it used to be. I, I, I have to say it was definitely negative. I was mad as hell at the gaming industry for the direction it was headed and I'm thinking that's not the direction I am headed that's not the kind of person I want to be in my spiritual pursuits in the law of attraction what I follow and it's not who I am the negativity is not who I am so I'm thinking Come up with ideas that are more positive, things that gamers can do to actually bring about positive change in the industry, what they, what they can do. So it's, I'm having to change gears on that. And it's taken me a little while to get up the speed on it. So that's why you haven't seen many Following the Professor episodes. But there will be a new episode soon. And there will also be another new episode of Gamers. I will uh, do my best to at least do one video a week. Even if it has to be Chloe Cast. I'll at least get one video a week out. But it will not be on a fixed schedule anymore. Because I just can't keep schedules. I just can't keep schedules. So, that's the story. Well, if you like this video, like it. If you like the content on the, that's on this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, also, uh, come on over to Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is still alive and well. And we have a community that's doing really well called Gamers Bay. Gamers Bay was built off of retro gaming. So we have a older membership, a more mature membership. So which means no little 12 year olds um, trolls are going to start yelling at you. I'm one of the senior moderators there. Actually, I'm an assistant manager to the whole community. So we have fair moderators. We treat people fairly. We follow our own. We follow our own set of rules. We just don't do what we want. Saying, "Oh, I don't. I don't like this particular person's content, so I'm going to delete it." No, we 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 can't do that. We can't do that. As long as you are following the rules, we can't. We won't delete you. As long as you're following the rules, and the rules are pretty simple. They're fairly simple. Don't be a dick. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And keep a watch out for the next Chlorine the Professor. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you guys later.